All right, everybody. So I just got a really good question, and I've been getting questions similar. So it's about time I made a video. So this is the sort of a clarification of the Polywog wheel and the 12 ounce upgrade. So if you order a, and you have to bear with my light Blair Witch project style camera angles here. If you order a Polywog, just the regular old base model, this is what it comes with. You get the base, which is this part. You get the four ounce head, which is this part, and three four ounce bobbins that fit on the four ounce head. And uh, then the little lazy Kate pegs store there. And it also comes with this big strap, but the strap's over there. So imagine the strap's over here. So this is what comes in the uh, with the base model of the Polywog. And as you see, uh, you know, unbolted, it doesn't take up that much room. Uh, you know, so that's how... It, I don't really unbolt mine that often. And uh, we got it for when we're traveling. We have two kids. So bolted together, I can actually fit this one like in between the back seat of my car and then like underneath the little one's car seat. So it, like even bolted together, this one doesn't take up that much room. But unbolted, it really doesn't take up much room. And then you can throw the... I would recommend taking the little pegs out so you don't lose them. The pegs and then the bobbins you can throw in your purse or bag or whatever. And uh, you're good to go. So that is the base model. If you get the 12-ounce upgrade, and I think this is where the confusion is, and once again, I am not in charge of things at Spinolution, but the upgrade isn't something that, like, you pay to get it with this head instead of that head. It only comes separate. So you buy the base model, and then if you want the 12-ounce upgrade, this is what you get. You get this big, giant head, and it really is huge. I mean, you can see the uh, size difference there between the little guy and the big one. I mean, it's a much bigger thing. And then it's got the golden whirl on the back, your lazy Kate and your peg. So, I mean, this is a pretty heavy, hefty piece of equipment just by itself because, I mean, you can see the size of the 12-ounce upgrade is, like, pretty much the same size as the, <laughs> the wheel, the drive wheel. No, it's, a, you know, a pretty serious piece so it comes with the 12 ounce upgrade if you get it is basically this whole top half of the wheel and one 12 ounce bobbin you can buy extra 12 ounce bobbins i don't really know why you would need more unless you just really wanted to have more i like to uh as you've seen in my other videos these because they're the same depth you can put the four ounce ones that you already have from when you bought the the base model will fit on here and it looks a little funny but it works just fine and so I would if I was two plying like a bulkier yarn I would spend a single on like one four ounce a single on the other four ounce that I already have from the base model and then when I two ply I would put it on this one or if I'm just doing like a big chunky single like an art yarn then I just use this one and I don't need multiple bobbins but so it just coming with one isn't a problem for me at all so um let's see the question was how much it weighed so here's my arch nemesis the uh bathroom scale uh with the 12 ounce upgrade so hold on see sorry i'm doing this with one hand here so we'll put the bobbin on here because that bobbin actually weighs a good bit so i want to get all the weight so that's 6.4 and then this is for the 12 ounce upgrade. Yep, it apparently weighs nothing. There we go. Huh, well, that is crazy. Bathroom scale, why are you? Hmm. Well, it must not weigh enough to want to register, so we'll put this on here. And. We'll try to stack. Okay, that looks like it's bringing it to nine. So, looks like the Polywog base plus the uh, the top is coming in at uh, like right under ten pounds. So, still not that you know, still very light. So, the question that I was getting was on traveling with these if you wanted to stick them in a carry-on and I did try to put them in my uh, carry-on suitcase and it just the base is like too wide like it's just it's not at least in our carry-on suitcases is not going to fit in 
I did experiment with, uh, this is actually a food bag, so this isn't the bag I would use, but if you had, this is more of a, like, square size bag. If you really, really, really didn't want to put it in your suitcase, it took some finagling, but you could get it in, like, maybe a more of an open top bag and put in there if you really wanted to try to carry it on, but I think your best bet for flying with this wheel would be, uh, it would definitely 100% fit in a regular suitcase. So I would take it apart like it is here and then just get sheets of the bubble wrap. You can get at Target and I would uh, put all the little pieces and the bobbins, you know, you could put those in your carry-on. But for this base, and honestly even this part you could get in a carry-on, I would just wrap it in bubble wrap and then, because um, you see like next to each other here, I mean that doesn't take up... You know, that doesn't take up much room at all, as you can see my feet. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not, that would very easily go into a regular size suitcase. And I would just, you could put is maybe one half of it in a carry-on, but then this bottom part, which, I mean, all the things that could really get knocked, like your tension block and everything's up here. So if all you were having to put in a checked bag is this part, it would be really easy to just, you could even put some like masking tape, you know, to hold the wheel still and then wrap it in bubble wrap. And, um, you know, I mean, this part by itself weighs six pounds, so you could like pack your clothes in around it. So you might not even have to take like an extra bag. I mean, I think people probably take in hair dryers and stuff that are <laughs> more uh, substantial than just the bottom part. So if I were flying with it, I think that's what I would do. I'd get a big carry-on bag, and I'd put the top part and the bobbins and the golden whirl part and, you know, all the part with the little fussier pieces, I would put my carry-on. And then this one, I would wrap in bubble wrap and then pack all my clothes around it and put in a, uh, you know, good quality suitcase, maybe one of those, like, hard shell ones. And uh, I think that's how I would fly with it if I was going to fly. So I hope that answers your question. So that was sort of that question. And then, like I said, people kept... Um, I didn't realize my other video, I think, was confusing people. If it were up to me, I would have it where you could order, like, hey, I want this, but with the big head. But uh, I am not in charge of such things. So uh, if you... that's This is the base model. And then if you want the 12-ounce upgrade, then that's the 12-ounce upgrade. But you have to go this route first. Which, honestly, this is... I mean, unless you're just doing really big yarn or you want lots of yardage, if you're a weaver, so you're okay with maybe, like, smaller... Like, not as many yardage per skein, like, smaller chunky yarns, then that one's probably fine. But yeah, the 12 ounce upgrade I use and I pretty much permanently leave on there. So uh, I hope that's helpful. So if you have any more questions or I confused you more than I helped, uh, please comment below.